Hi, I'm George with NS345. I think I've bitten more than I can chew this time. I'm actually going to mix a metal song sent to me by Rui Oliveira from Portugal. The song is from a band called Bainless out of Almeida in Portugal. Here are the guys, very good looking, very good looking boys there. The neat thing about this recording is the way in which it was recorded. Here's the kit that was used. It looks like it was on a stage. The, this is the microphone set right here that was used. This is pretty awesome. So this is a, a microphone bundle. Um, and these are Chinese made microphones. And you can mic up a whole kit with these mics. It's pretty amazing. The price is really cheap as you can see from the website. But once you hear the recording, you're gonna see, you're gonna hear for yourself how good it is or how good uh, it sounds. The music was recorded through a PreSonus FP10, pretty nice interface. Again, this is not a very expensive interface, but it does have some great sound that you can capture, and it's all about making good music. So, just want to give a shout out to Rui Oliveira for allowing me to mix this song um, for my YouTube fans and for you guys out there. Here is the thing about this song. I've never mixed metal. I've mixed punk, but I've never mixed metal. Mixing metal is challenging. Metal players are crazy. Now the genre on this track is metal rock trash. But you know how many kicks you have in a metal song? Um, I haven't counted them yet, but I'm sure it's quite a bit. A lot of 16th notes uh, going on on the kicks, double kicks. It's going to be pretty awesome. He did give me a couple of samples I saw on the tracks that he gave me. And the thing about this is that he used a limited number of microphones. So the sound's not the greatest. The, the recording is good, but the sound's not the greatest. So we're going to see what we can do that. Again, this is probably more than I can choose. So let's just get to it. And to honor Rui, I'm actually going to use Studio One because that's what he recorded it in. I'm not great at Studio One. I've just started using Studio One recently. So this is going to be quite fun. You're going to see me make a lot of mistakes on this. Okay. So I've got the session here. I've called it metal mix through. There is the session there. Now I'm going to bring in the tracks. I'm just going to drag them in. Now I don't know. It looks like the tracks were either bounced wrong or they were recorded wrong, but I doubt that. So I think they were just bounced wrong. It looks like they're all stereo and I don't want that. And actually I had started the video and I had to stop to go to group three to figure out how to turn stereo files into mono files. And there's a few ways and I'm just gonna do it the fastest way here. I'm gonna go to the pull section here and I'm actually going to go through each one. Let me see this one. Okay, I just made this, uh, click this channel mode and made it into mono. And I'm just gonna highlight that one, then I'm gonna hit Command B, and that's gonna bounce it into a mono track. And that's okay for that one because I don't have balance issues. There's also a trigger here, which I'm gonna get rid of just for the moment. There's the snare, I'm also gonna turn it into mono. So I'm just gonna click that, click on the track itself, Command B, and that's gonna turn it into mono. There's another trigger, I'm gonna get rid of that, Shift T. Uh, overhead left and overhead right. This is where I gotta be careful. Base DI, turn into mono here, click, Command B, and I hope this is right. Guitar DI, um, same thing, channel mode, mono, guitar right. Uh oh, okay, that's left and this is right. Okay, so channel mode, click there, Command B, and I've got the vocal now. I know that's definitely not a stereo track. There it is, click there, boom. On the overheads, I'm actually gonna do the same for both of them, let me see if I could do both of them. Just holding shift, and then the same here. And I'm just gonna say command, awesome. Okay, so now I've got the, I'm gonna hit save real quick. And I'm just gonna close the pool there, the file pool. I don't, you're gonna have to forgive me because I don't know all these terms. I'm a Pro Tools guy. So here's all the tracks.
Okay, cool. So here is the inspector open and I can open and close that by hitting F4. I'm gonna leave it open. Now, Rui did tell me that he gain staged the tracks. So let's just uh, see how good of a job he did. I'm gonna go through each one. And I'm actually, I don't know if I could do this, but I'm gonna insert the VU, the Presonus VU meter. So let's see if I could do it to all of them. I'm gonna select all of them. I'm gonna go here, type VU. VU, VU meter. Okay, well it only added it there. But I think if I drag it here. Oh, there you go. The only problem with that is, oh, I can't take them off. Okay. I need to make sure they're calibrated, so I'm just gonna take this off real quick. Okay, uh, let me just check the VU. It's on six, I want it on 18. Sensitivity in the center, that's fine. And I know some people say that these aren't properly calibrated. Uh, if I compare it to the Clanhelm VU meter, that's probably okay. It's just a little bit, but if you use that VU meter throughout your entire mix, you're gonna be okay, no big deal. All right, so that's calibrated to 18, which means zero VU equals minus 18 dBFS. All right, and that's important to know and I'll explain later. Now I'm just gonna drag, I'm gonna select all of the tracks again, holding shift. I'm just gonna drag the VU meter there. Bam, I love that. I love that in Studio One. See if I can make that bigger. Eh, that's okay. So I'm just gonna use that, um, I'm just gonna use these meters here. I'm actually gonna bring this down a little bit. I don't need all that extra space. Pardon that I'm not as fast as I am in Pro Tools on this. Close the instrument. Whoops, not that. Okay, hit save. And uh, let's just check the VU meters. And I'm just gonna mute the master fader here. How do I mute it? I don't know. Oh, there it goes. All right, now I'm just gonna look at the VU meters. And what I'm looking for is, I want them hovering around zero VU. All of them there. The nice thing about Studio One is that you can also see the meter here, the VU meter, so that's really nice. So let me go to the loudest part of each track. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna click here, little box comes up, that's your gain. And I'm just gonna bring that up to so make sure it's, uh, now, okay. There is no option in Studio One to check your meters pre and post fader. Just give it a little bit of volume here. Okay, and this is funny, right? When you're uh, doing your clip gain, um, a lot of people often ask, well, is it peaking or is it RMS or what? Well, right now my VU meter, the needle, is peaking at zero RMS. Did you hear that? Peaking at zero VU RMS. So it's actually RMS, it's not peaking there because this is an average, but yes, it is, in essence, it's peaking and your RMS is somewhere here. But just to be on the safe side, just make sure it doesn't go over zero. You can be in this area between zero and three, and that's fine, no big deal. So peaking RMS, RMS is average, peaking is peaking. But if your needle is just touching the zero here, that's perfect. No rocket science behind that. Let's go to the second one. And I'm looking for the loudest part there. And it doesn't seem like, I mean, Rui did a good job here, so I'm just gonna go, looks like these are the the wave amplitude is the highest here, so I'm just gonna go there. You have to make sure you select the track, otherwise you, you lose your meter. See, so you gotta go to the right meter. I'm gonna do this too. Okay, if you notice, the it's just touching the zero there. Let's go to the next track, and this is these are the overheads. Okay, so I thought I, 
I must be smoking today because, oh yeah, I did change the channel mode, but probably I didn't bounce it. So let's see. There you go. All right. Let's listen to the left overhead. You can click here. Okay, so I'm looking at this meter here, and you can also see this if your screen is big enough. And that's the one thing I don't like about these um, Studio One meters. They're so small. So let me show you one thing you can do, and this is going to jack me all up here. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Displays, let's change to scale, and let's change it to that. All right, now they're a little bit bigger. But I don't like it like that. It just looks all fat and funny. There you go. Okay, so that's the bass. Now let's go to the guitar left, uh, loudest part. Just take it from here. Okay. Okay, vocal, I'm gonna look for the loudest part. There it is. Okay, so now all of my meters here are looking really good. Zero there, zero there. Zero there, zero there, zero there. The kick may need to come up a little bit. Okay, I think that's good for gain staging. So I went from bringing in the audio to gain staging and it's so cool, right? In Studio One, you can do all these things. I'm gonna close my deal there. I'm gonna go back to the way the screen was before because I, I just like the resolution. So I've got a 27 inch iMac. Notice how much uh, real estate it gave me. My eyesight's pretty good. So I know some people struggle with eyesight and so the bigger screen is better for them. For me, this is good enough. Okay, so my master fader right now, it doesn't matter. I don't care what the level is here, but just to double check, um, and this is the only thing, one of the things I don't like about Studio One, I can't move this, this fader out of here. So that's all right. So I'm gonna go to post here. And again, I'm gonna insert a VU meter. And uh, this time I'm gonna do the clan helm. I'm gonna do the solo. So with all of the faders at 0 dB and all of the tracks gain stage to minus 18 dBFS or 0 VU equals minus 18 dBFS, my mix output level right now is what I call the sweet spot. The sweet spot. This is it. And I'm going to try to mix to where I'm not changing levels too much and I'm going to try to stay there even with the plugins. Okay, so that's what the tracks look like. And uh, once again, this is just a mix through for metal. I've never mixed metal, I've mixed punk. And uh, this is fun, I think the tracks are well recorded. They may not sound great right now because it's just the raw audio, but we'll see what I can do with this. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. And also go ahead and I'll put the links below for the, the bands page. Um, Oh, and the, the link for the interface that, we, that was used and for the microphones that, was, that were used so you can see uh, exactly what, you know, what equipment was used. That's really important because everyone thinks you need really expensive equipment to make a great recording. This is a great recording. And um, 
So we'll see where we get from here. All right, awesome. Thank you for watching. Speak to you later.